Hi everyone, I thought I would do a vintage sort of unboxing video for you. I've done one before and it was really popular and everyone loved it. Plus loads of people commented and gave me advice on some of the things I showed. So I thought I'd do another one. I have picked up three lots from our local auction. I paid £107.70p for all of this lot. I'm not sure if it was worth it, we'll find out. So I'm literally going to show you for the first time now what I've got. Um, it looks dusty. Uh, I've got just a brown cardboard box here. I've got two sort of vegetable crate boxes here. And then what looks like a sort of shoe box size box back there. So without further ado, let's go. So this one was described as cage with a quantity of royal briarly or briarly crystal plus other glassware. And what have we got? This looks modern, sort of painted glass, hand painted. Um, it's an unusual shape. Needs a bit of a clean inside, but there's no markings on the bottom. I suspect that could be um, modern. Uh, you might know differently. No chips around the top, it's glass. So that's good. This one's funky. It's like a, I think this is called a frog, uh, where you put your sort of flower, like roses through the um, top bit. But this is bright, it's got hair on it. Bright orange glass. This could be sort of Eastern European, not 100% sure. Um, it has no marks or anything on it. Doesn't look chipped, but that, is that sort of design is really popular an orange sort of retro orange is very popular too um what's under the bubble wrap this uh feels a bit cheap it's hand painted by the looks of things uh sort of bright yellowy orange glass no chips which is a good sign and oh matches it's different design though there we go so a pair that one's got a bit of a chip in the rim but I, what i will do maybe i'll do it no i can't do it now because my phone's on the um i'm using my phone to film so i say i'll do a google image search of those but i can't so maybe i'll let you know if they sell <laughs> when they sell it's be optimistic Oh yeah, this one. No, this is this was described as vintage camera plus brass ashtray, swan vase plus various glassware. That's what this one was um, de described as. Because here's the vintage camera. Um, pull some stickers off. Oh, okay. There we go. And then it opens like that. It's a. Eps I'm going to look it up. Epsilon, but our internet keeps going down. It's driving me mad. Epsilon Selfix 1520. Oh yeah, folding camera. It's a few for sale. Oh, you hold it that way. See, I'm learning already. 10, 20 pound maybe, maybe more. Which, I don't know. I have no idea if it works. I have to test. Well, not test it, obviously, but I'll have to look inside and see what the situation is in there. Um, but I should think that the cost price per item is going to be quite low. So we will, I'll write down how many items I've got in total and we will work it out. I'm wearing dirty clothes because this is all going to be dirty. So excuse the mark. I think it's from the dog jumping up at me on my top. Um, this little beauty very solid it's got like red eyes but there's a hole in the top so i don't know what this is for did it say what it was for swan vase i don't think that's a vase um i have no idea what that's for any ideas it's metal <clears throat> an ashtray ah it's the see no evil no Speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil, little monkeys on this ashtray. Um, it's quite old. 
old, no date or mark or anything. Uh, I don't know if I'll polish it up. I tend to not polish things because it just takes too much time. Green vase. I don't think it glows. Oh, let's check. Ah, oh, handy. No, no, it doesn't glow. Um, but that's quite retro. It doesn't really need cleaning either. And it's got no chips in the rim, so that's good. Two more things in this box. These. They're very bright, aren't they? These are bud vases. I can't rem remember the name of the style. Are they bud vases? Or they could, I suppose you could use them as candlestick holders. They don't, they're not broken, not chipped. Um, very funky. Do you, oh gosh. Do you know anything about glass? Would you, do you know how you describe these? I will do a Google image search, um, but I'll definitely list those as a pair. So, We'll count them as one, because they are such go as a pair. Two, three, four. This is assuming I list everything. Some might be good for the bin or redonate. Five, not the bin, only bin if it's broken. Six, seven, there's a pair. And eight. So eight things in that box. I will write that down so we can work out the average cost price when we're done. So box one, eight pounds. How much did I say the whole lot was? 107 pounds 70. So that is uh, when it's from the auction, you, you have your um, bid price, but you also have to pay fees and sometimes that, depending on what the items are, don't we don't pay that on these. Um, so that £107.70 does include all um, fees, uh, so hammer fee. Um, yeah, so that's one box done. The next one, let's go. Blue vase. Looks like marble, but ceramic. No mark on the bottom. Um, no chips though. So that's a good sign. It's a bit dusty, but um, we'll clean that up. This one's interesting. Very blousy. Uh, a pink vase. Very, very fragile. No mark on the bottom again. Very dirty inside. Ugh. Um, but yeah, nice pink colour. I will put that through. Oh, it's had a label on it, so that's come off, but that would have had the maker's um, logo or name on it. But I will put that through Google Image Search. Mm, just a yellow modern vase, but it's got a crack in it. So that will, um, I'll probably use that in the garden as crock, so break it up and use it in the bottom of my terracotta pots. Vintage glass ashtray with a big chip in the side. So that's really sharp. So that'll get rid of, uh, that'll go in the glass bin. Sorry, but it'll be recycled. Um, this, a welcome sign. Obviously this isn't old. Well, not that old. Um, fairies on, someone will probably want it. Not me. Um, has it got chips on it? Oh no, just or styrene or something. Uh, what else? Oh. Weldon's underwear for ladies in knitting and crochet. If you want any knitted underwear or crocheted underwear, you can have this. Um, it's from, doesn't say where it's from. It's very old. Um, what are these? They're matching. Hmm. What are these then? Tea light holders? Do they have tea lights in these days? No. It says import on the back of them. Any idea what these could be? So, two more. They're all different colours, but they're all sort of a set. 
Any suggestions? Could they be ashtrays? Oh, they could be ashtrays. Ah, they could be ashtrays there. Put your cigarette on that bit. Again, I'll do a Google image search, but they're very, oh, that one's got some chips on it. Um, very rustic. By rustic, I mean maybe a little bit broken. Um, what else have we got? A sign that's stained. Hallmark plaque, made in USA. So not this sort of thing of probably, oh, 1979 it says. Certain people are a joy to know with a poem on it, but it's all stained. So that will go in the bin. No idea what this is, but it's covered in grease. Oh, it's got something on it. Griffin something. Fireproof, made in Belgium. I have no idea what that is. I'll leave that in there though, because it's got grease on it. Shoe spikes. Ying's Joe Spike, the effective anti-skid. So like vintage shoe spikes or when it's icy and snowy. Um, it's German, I think. It's got a um, barcode on it, but no date. Oh, no, it's a bit greasy. Oh, this is the culprit for being greasy. Ew, what is this? Rose something or other. Scented gel candle. That can go in the bin because that's leaked everywhere. Um, this is cute. It's like a wooden... Oh, it's a cigarette box. State Express cigarettes. Absolutely unique in their qualities. State Express cigarettes 333. That's cute. So it's like, is it tin maybe over wood? No idea. But I will do a Google image on that, do my research. There's no marks or dates on it. Um, but yeah, that's quite cute. So that's a definite goer. Bud vase, these are 10 a penny. You see these a lot in charity shops. However, people do collect them because you can get more rounded ones, um, controlled bubbles, where so they're all sort of in lines um this doesn't have a maker's mark uh but they are again ten a penny but like i said people do collect them so i will list that a tea light holder with a cross on it glass that doesn't look like it's got any chips on it and it's got a sticker on the side nibro oh nibro crystal sweden that's good needs a bit of a clean but that one um, will get listed as well. A Sanyo squashed camera case. I don't think I'll do anything with that. And then we have, a, this is what you put in a plant pot, um, or yeah, you put it in a plant pot to either feed or water your plants through the mouth, so that's a frog. Um, don't know if that's worth anything. If it's worth like five or six quid, I'll list it, but if, I won't if not. Um, bone china little trinket trays with a seagull on it and another one and another one and another one and what else is there a little wooden windmill that needs screwing up tighter because the sails are loose but that's just going to be a um souvenir from someone's holiday i should think this is probably all house clearance stuff um <laughs> temperature clock humidity does it go on no I don't even know if it's got yeah it's got batteries in it but that's not going to be worth anything i'll obviously double check but I think I'll put that on the bin pile. Nice a troll picking his nose made out of stone or something. Might be part of a collectible set. I don't know. And a basket full of sort of vintage ribbons. Might sell the ribbons. Um, might just redonate. And some knitting patterns. This one is Bronte, Aaron Knitting. Argyle Woods, baby time, and Wendy. 
And these are from Hitchin. It's got stamped Hitchin on it. Henleyville Fashions Limited, trading as the wool shop, Hitchin. Okay, so I will maybe bundle those together if they're worth anything. I have no idea. Um, but we'll count them as one. So we'll count the ribbons as one. Um, the magazines is two. These are all possible cigarette ashtrays, three. The Swedish cross, four. The welcome sign, five. The cigarette box, six. This pink vase, seven. This blue vase, eight. This bud vase, nine. The seagull things, 10. The troll, 11. Optimistic there. Count the frog as 12, just, just in case. And then this little windmill, 13. So box two has 13 things. Box two, 13. And they're all for the bin. So yeah, we'll do box three in a sec. My hands are really dirty. Okay, box three. Ooh. Cake stand with a big scratch or crack in it. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with that. Um, which is a shame. A glass. Does it say anything on the bottom? Is anyone going to want to buy? Well, I don't know if we've got any more, but let's say one vintage glass. Not crystal or anything. This. Peck. Number 775005. British made. Mm. I will look that up. Um, oh, well, let's do it now. Nothing comes up. Um, so I'll do a Google image search on that if I can. Um, any ideas what it could be? This one looks interesting, but very dirty. Now I know that this design, so this is glass, it's um, blue glass, and this design is called Hobnail, and Fenton Hobnail is really collectible. Lots of people do collect Hobnail. It's this, um, oh, I looked up Hobnail earlier for something else and I liked the, the um, definition. It said glass decorated with blunt projections. So these are blunt project projections and this is really cool. Although it's got chip in the rim, which is a shame. And it's very dirty inside. It doesn't have anything on the base. Um, but if I clean that up, I sh hopefully might be able to get about 20 odd quid for that. So that's good. Um, this looks to me like you put eggs on it, but it wouldn't do in this house because we always have more than four eggs. <clears throat> um, this is China. It's got something written inside, 1845 sort of handwritten. It's got some crazing inside, which is where it looks like it's sort of um, cracked, but it's not, it's just the um, blaze. Um, but it's quite cute, it's vintage. Um, someone will like it, it's got like cherry blossom on it. And I've got actually cherry blossom on my shoes. I've got um, like embroidered um, checkerboard vans. I'm wearing them now and they've got um, cherry blossom embroidered on them. I love them. This looks like it could be Czech glass. Um, sort of urny shape vase, um, but it's got kind of a telltale sort of pointy star design on it. Um, it's hard to tell if it's chipped or anything, but I'm sure someone will like that. Um, it's quite robust, quite heavy. Um, little glass trinket dish with a lid. Uh, yeah. Glass, my favourite glass. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, 
glass trinket glass dish, a jug, it's brown, but it says, cannot read that at all, but it says France underneath. Does anyone know what that says? Can you see that? Um, Muck. No, that wouldn't be Muck, would it? I have no idea. I'll have to do some research on that. It's got some scratches on it. Um, but it's kind of got like um, a pearlescent sort of finish to it. It's quite nice. Some more glass. This is like a, well, like a cake stand or like a flan stand or something, tart stand. Um, no idea where this would originate from, but I'll do a Google image search because sometimes the Google image search on the Google app on your phone, you can take a picture or you can take use a picture out of your um, photo album on your phone. It picks up the sort of the designs in the glass, which can be really, really helpful. Um, even if you just get um, like a country where it could originate from. A very dusty oh, copper kettle. What is that saying? I don't want to tip it up, I'll get covered. There's something on the bottom, but I cannot, I'm, I need to clean that first because that was going all over my head. And I do not want that. Um, a plate. This one says Buddha Wooden Sons England. Like a serving sort of plattery dish. Doesn't look chipped, needs a bit of a clean though. Um, running out of space. Another plate. Serving plattery dish. This says Royal Worcester Vitreous. Sometimes these sort of things are collectible, other times they're not worth much at all. Ooh. All right, I need to put that there. Put those in there. I'm gonna show you this one. This one is Salisbury Alfred Meakin. Oh, I know Alfred Meakin. A hand engraved pattern. And this is floral. And this needs a good clean as well, but it doesn't look like it's got any chips. So I'll look up Alfred Meakin Salisbury. Let's do that now. There's other items from the Salisbury range. So a dinner plate, um, two plates. People want over a tenner for each of them. So oh, list it for £10 plus post. That'll be good. I just heard something fall, which sounds like a bit of glass. Yeah, where's that come from then? Man. Dear. It's a hazard of working with glass. Right especially with dogs around. So in there we have three plates, one kettle. So four plus the drug, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the egg holder. for this so that's 12 items in box three right this last box has this just reminds me of dad's army oh the dust that just came up of that that is rank um i have to go and wave this around outside i think um it's the union jack flag obviously um but it looks pretty old I don't think I need to drink out of my glass anymore because there's going to be loads of dust in there. Uh, what I wanted out of this was the glass. Um, and this is a prime example of fodder. So if you've watched our other videos, um, we mentioned fodder a lot. So fodder is when we uh, bid on job lots because there's a, an item or multiple items in that lot that we want. But then there's also the items that come with it that we don't want. Um, so this is most definitely a fodder item. It's a gas mask. It smells old. It's got cobwebs in it. Um, I have no idea. Does it say when it's from? Let's have a look. Oh God, it stinks. 
cage with gas masks. So when it says cage, it means the items were displayed in the cage during the auction. I don't get a cage with it. So cage with gas mask, military belts, Union Jack flag, jigsaw puzzles, and carnival glass clown. So I have no idea. It says um, it's got loads of codes on it, um, which you can see. But yeah, it, that, that really freaks me out actually. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing this goes with it. Bag also covered in cobwebs. And in there I have some belt. Oh, there's a, some paperwork in here. It's so dusty. Need a bath after this. <laughs> um, so here's the bag. Again, it looks very old. And there's a red tag hanging off it, which doesn't give me any clues. Um, what's in the pocket? Please, no spiders, please. It literally smells like it's been hanging up in someone's garage forever. Um, what does this say? Action in the event of attack by chemical agents in care of respirator. Oh, it's a haversack. Oh God. MBC respirator. Let's put in NBC respirator. In my hands are so filthy now. It's the downside of dealing with sort of house clearance and vintage stuff that comes straight out the auction. NBC respirator. Polish MP5 gas mask respirator army surplus. Oh, people sell them by grades. Um, I'll have to look to see what mine, how old mine is. Anyone know about gas masks? Um, Yugoslavian gas mask. Okay, so it's Eastern European. Um, well, some of them sell for a lot of money. Um, and some of the bags sell for a lot of money on their own. That's quite interesting. Um, maybe I shouldn't be mean about it. Oh, yes. One sold that looks the same as mine from nine. It says good use 1972 British Army S6 respirator gas mask with filters and bag NBC. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing this is a spare filter. There's no way to what I'm looking at. Pristine condition on that side though. Wonder if it ever got used. Well, it does look like it's been used. Okay, so we'll count the bag and the mask and this spare thing as one. Oh, I haven't shown you the rest yet. Uh, we have this belt. Oh. What does that say? Royal Anglian? Royal Anglian, possibly. Let me type that in. If any of you know what this is, I probably sound like a right idiot trying to identify it. But I know my shoes. Um, oh, Royal Anglian stable belt without the buckle went for 25. Royal Anglian Regiment British Army military stable belt with the buckle went for 15.99 plus post. The buckle went on its own for 5.25. Another one went for 20. Okay, that's good to know. I'll probably aim for 20 on that then. Um, yeah, brilliant. And then this one, this could be the bag strap. No, I don't think it is. Oh no, it's a belt. A belt of some description. Anyone know what sort of belt this is? Um, you, oh, it's US, it says US on it. There we go. US belt, US army belt. Let's just type that in. I'm probably gonna get loads and loads of responses to this. US army belt. Oh, there's one. Vintage US army GI Vietnam War web pistol equipment belt. £13.50 plus post. I need to do some research to make sure I'm missing the right one. But it looks like it's a pistol belt. 
If you know, does that sound about right? Let me know. Um, also in this box, we have um, a jigsaw puzzle. Well, two jigsaw puzzles. Liverine or Liverine, make the world take everything. Have I read that right or am I going insane? Make the world take everything for dogs, poultry, pigeons, cage birds and fishes, all dealers stock. Liverine jigsaw puzzle. Oh look, jig hyphen saw. Always ask for Liverine or Liverine products. So it's obviously some kind of advertising item. I have no idea if this is the original seal or what. But let's look them up. Liverine jigsaw puzzle. Um, if you're shouting at the camera now going, Liverine, Liverine, not Liverine. I'm sorry. Jigsaw puzzle. Nothing's coming up for sold. Nothing's coming up for active. So these are proper old, but I have no idea how old. So maybe Google might be able to tell me if I do some research. I have no idea what the picture is. It could be something rude. Um, but I'm not going to open them. I'm just going to say they're unchecked and possibly still sealed. Because like, they just look like they're sealed exactly the same. Um, so yeah, I will leave those as they are. And then also in this box, if you don't like clowns, I think it's a clown, because that's what it said on the description. If you don't like clowns, stop watching for about two minutes. Um, because it's pretty hideous. <laughs> is this glass? Oh, it's a bird or something, isn't it? What is that? What do you think that is? It's, oh, it's got to be a, it's a bird dressed up as a clown. Uh, it's really heavy. I have no idea where it's from. It looks like it's had a bit of a repair job on the foot. Um, but people collect this stuff. This is why I bid on this, because it said it had a glass clown. And I've sold glass clowns before. Um, but this is solid. So someone will want this. But it's gross. So I've put the, I've put the clown down now. So if you've turned away, you can look. So I'm going to count up what we've got. I'm going to count those jigsaws as one. The glass clown as two. Belt three. Belt four. And the gas mask bag with gas mask as five. And the flag da, 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 as six. So let's do a toss up. Just dirty everywhere. Box four, six. So we have 20, 33, 39 items in total which means that the cost price per item, 107.70 divided by 39, is £2.76 an item, which I don't think is too bad. Um, so do you know what any of that was? Um, can you sort of point me in the right direction with um, some clues as to maybe how old things are or any makers? Or have you picked something like that up before and you don't know what it is? Or have you sold items like that and wish you'd found more? Um, have I picked up total rubbish? This is why I love the auction, because if there's not a lot of stuff that I really want, I will be take a few punts on some interesting sort of job lots of sort of house clearance stuff. Just You, you just don't know what you're gonna find. Could be treasure in there. Um, and it's just fun. It's fun looking through it. It's fun doing the research and it's fun learning about different things, even if it's to learn not what's not to pick up again in the future. Uh, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe, click the notification button, comment with any thoughts. Um, you can also find us over on Instagram, we're FNS Resellers over there. And together with my Simon husband, my Simon husband, together with my husband Simon, we post on there quite often. And we're always around for advice or help if there's anything that you need on your reselling journey. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.